What's up, YouTube? Is your boy King Denix. Welcome to the first photo shoot breakdown I'm ever gonna do on my channel. So I'm gonna keep on doing videos like this. Uh, on this video, I'm gonna show you how I lead my pictures, how I place my lighting and camera settings. Then I will show you straight out of camera pictures. So on this picture, uh, this is the behind the scene of the lighting, how everything was placed. This one on top here, let me just come here. This one on top here is the V. Sorry, now what's happening here? It's a V860 Mark II. Sorry about my handwriting. And right here is the AD200. AD200, sorry, AD266. This is the AD200 uh, with an extension cable. This is the extension cable, which is the CEC200 which comes to a soft box this is a 40 by 40 40 by 40 soft box with a grid in front here and then this one is a points mount reflector right here so it's so i can direct the light straight to the model so the model is just going to be standing here let's just pretend this is the model just standing right here and then this one is a speed light uh, it has a hot shoe slave kind of thing here which works on slave mode. I forgot uh, the model of this speed light, but it's an old Canon speed light. It's also on a 40 by 40 here, as you can see. And this one is double diffuse also. Also, this one is double diffuse here. Sorry about my handwriting. Let's just ignore this one. This one is actually not working with just a black fabric. Nothing special, just a simple black pack fabric you can buy on any shop out there any shop just go to a fabric shop and order a black fabric i have a problem saying black fabric so let's go back to the picture here as you can see the 80 80 200 was just the main light from this side 40 degrees from the from the camera and also 40 tilted 40 degrees down which was lighting this side and then the other softbox with double diffuse it was just shining this side of the model which means it was a bit behind opposite a uh, parallel to the 80 200 80 200 sorry it's just somewhere here which it was shining this side of the model and then the v860 was actually coming from the bottom oh, coming from the bottom here let me just fix this how did i even introduce this it was coming from the bottom here which was separating the model from the background the model from the background which is you can see here it's reflecting here also a bit on the shoulders and on the hair also and also behind the model because it was a bit be further from the model as you can see the model was just standing on the edge right here and then this reflector this reflector actually is bouncing the light coming straight from this one it's bouncing this side and also working on this other side of the model especially the hair here is also reflected is the light reflected from this slave speed light let's just go back here as you can see this one is coming from here here i was shooting one over eight because this is a very powerful a 200 watt uh, speed light pocket speed light and here i was shooting one over 64 i didn't need too much light i just wanted light to separate the model from the background and here i also was shooting one over 16 actually i think i was shooting one over four here because this is not as powerful as this one this one is actually more powerful if i remove the grid here the light spilling here it, will, it was gonna be too much so let's just go back to another picture here as you can see this is the first picture i took actually i was testing uh, the v8 the v8 60 here mark 2 let's not forget the mark 2 it's also a product speed light my favorite main light before i bought the 200 the ad 200 so this one was separating the model from the background as you can see here this, that's why i took this picture to show how it actually looks when you have something above and just tilted below uh, to the model's hair just like that this is how 
it was actually affecting the picture and this this is how we ended up having the final picture because this one uh, the 8200 was controlling actually the slave speed light here and then this one was also being controlled by the v860 and it was controlled by the sorry sorry the x pro let me just come here just hide this and just tell you my 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 my, my usually studio settings camera settings and my camera setting when i'm in studio let's just call it studio settings ss something like this uh, my shutter usually is one over one over 200 or lower if i have a color if i have a color background it's usually one over 25 one over 125 or one over 200 if i want to make the background darker my iso is always iso is always 100 because i'm using a the d 300 nikon this is my favorite camera actually and the f-stop the f-stop it's where the challenge is so i'm you i'm usually using between f4 or f uh, f 5.6 5.6 sorry 5.6 uh, I'm, I'm just i'm still getting used to writing with the work on tablet so these are my settings and anything else i don't think it's necessary i'm doing a studio settings but the first thing you usually have to do uh, when you are doing a studio shoot you first have to test how each light affects the subject here in front so you have your subject here in front holding a cell phone you have to test how each light affects it usually i don't start with the main light usually i start with the light on the side something like this this one is actually a fill light oh this one is a fill light and also this one this one is a is the main light the key light i don't know if they call it the key light or what so this one doesn't actually affect this one affects a lot of things because it's the one facing especially if you have a background a backdrop below or a subject another thing below the, the, the subject it will affect everything here yeah, sorry about the the, 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 the the too much writing here yeah? but then this is the last one that you have to end with this was is the dead usually i start with the sunlight this is one and then this is two for me and then this is three make sure this one will separate your subject from the background everything you do here must separate the subject from the background so since you have a model here i'm gonna keep on drawing the model here make sure this one is affecting this area and also the shoulders and some of the clothing down here but it's not affecting the background here that means this one it's a bit further let's just imagine this is the background let me just show you something interesting how do i let me just fill this one with white uh i just realized this video was gonna be longer but no problem we're teaching each other here okay this is this is the studio setup and uh, let's take this one is a bird's eye view from the top this is the the black softbox here sorry this is the black fabric here and then from the back black fabric here let's just pick another different color let's go for red no blue blue is a bit saturated this is your subject this is your subject standing here how i place my light this is my softbox my main light hitting the subject from this side the other softbox was placed parallel to this one just like this hitting this side and the slave was placed from this side with a, a bit of a stand let's just imagine this is a stand and the slave was just placed there pointing this side illuminating and separating the subject from this background as you can see there is distance between the model and the background the light will affect this background but not too much as much as it's going to affect the subject here i'll be just standing here with my camera let's just imagine this is my camera something like this there's a difference between the distance because whatever shadow that 
this main light cast is not gonna reach the background here so everything is, is safe this is a tree light a uh, three point lighting my favorite usually sometimes i would prefer uh, picking uh, doing sort of something like putting them the main light here and then i put another softbox here which is going to affect this other side but usually i know this one will, will cover this side of the model this one will cover the, the, the behind the one on top and then this one will cover this one and then i have a bit of a rembrandt rembrandt sorry rembrandt lighting here on a face let's go back to that picture but here you can not see the rembrandt lighting because she was facing up a bit but usually the rembrandt lighting is the light that you see from this part here it makes a bit of a triangle so guys thank you for watching my video i know this one is long i wasn't expecting it to be this long but please uh, i'll just post all the straight out of camera pictures from here please subscribe this motivates me to do more of this video uh, and also please place your questions as you can see below here it says uh, try 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 to ask questions i will try to answer or try to do more research and come back with a more real reliable answer for you guys sorry for the accent i'm south african and i'm proud king denny x signing out